Solve the triangle. If two solutions exist, find both. Round your answers to two decimal places. B equals 18 degrees, A equals 18, and C equals 37. We are given two sides and their included angle. Use the standard form of the law of cosines to solve for the remaining side, side B, in this case. Write B squared equals A squared plus C squared minus 2AC times cosine of B. Next, substitute 18 for A, 37 for C, and 18 degrees for B. To get B squared equals 18 squared plus 37 squared minus 2 times 18 times 37 times cosine of 18 degrees. Use technology to evaluate. B squared approximately equals 426 and 1927 ten thousandths. Take a positive square root of each side to get B approximately equals 20 and 64 hundredths. At this point, use the law of sines to determine A. Write sine of A divided by A equals sine of B divided by B. Next, substitute 18 for A, 20 and 64 hundredths for B, and 18 degrees for B. You will get sine of A approximately equals 18 times sine of 18 degrees divided by 20 and 64 hundredths. Use technology to evaluate sine of A approximately equals 2695 ten thousandths. There are two angles between 0 degree and 180 degrees whose sine is approximately 2695 ten thousandths. A sub 1 approximately equals 15 and 63 hundredths degrees and A sub 2 approximately equals 180 degrees minus 15 and 63 hundredths degrees or 164 and 37 hundredths degrees. Choose A sub 1 because angles in a triangle have to add up to 180 degrees. So, for the given triangle, A approximately equals 15 and 63 hundredths degrees. Now you're ready to find C. Write C equals 180 degrees minus A minus B. Next, substitute 15 and 63 hundredths degrees for A and 18 degrees for B. To get 180 degrees minus 15 and 63 hundredths degrees minus 18 degrees. Evaluate to get C approximately equals 146 and 37 hundredths degrees.